John here guys and today we're talking about the true RC antenna setup for the shark bite module HD zeros new answer to getting better reception less of that dreaded rainbow of doom and ultimately this makes this thing flyable here at the world famous night spot now one of the complaints was that my reception was poor because i was using cheap stubby antennas and the factory patch antennas well, we're going to change that now with the true rc antenna upgrade and i didn't really want to hack this thing apart and customize it to that extent like some long range fellows have done but true rc solved this for me by coming out with these sniper patch antenna setup combo and some true rc stubbies that go right on top it gives you a much more sophisticated look but more importantly it now makes everywhere that we normally race throughout town totally 100 percent flyable on hd zero there was a little bit of too much breakup at this location behind the rows of bushes behind the rows of shrubs behind multiple trees or back at that parking garage dive of doom you would get a little bit of the dreaded rainbow of doom on the hd zero system but now with this setup i can confidently fly it throughout the entire area joe's been testing out this set of antennas already what do you think now compared to analog are we pretty much on equal level here even at the night spot yeah i think so at the night spot on par with analog 25 the, milliwatts i just tried it throughout the whole night spot all the problem areas and we're just getting a little flash of breakup and that's really what we're used to on analog so as long as it doesn't hang around and give you the rainbow of doom we can pretty much fly anywhere this was the last spot the one that we fly the most frequently that we needed to be able to go to all of the other traditional racing open areas or even areas with trees were pretty clear once i could come out here then it's no reason for me not to go swap all my racers over from there now i got the four combo with the true rc stubbies on top and the patch antennas joe got the patch antenna set along with the long long ones the they're long true rc okay, singularities so, a little, so if you want to look a little bit more like you're trying to contact <laughs> life on another planet you could go with this Turn one phone home ET phone home ET phone home finally every few weeks hd zero seems to be knocking off one of those complaints we were complaining about the image quality and they solved it we were complaining about the field of view and they solved it. We're complaining next about the reception and they've solved it. So it's pretty much guaranteed fresh now. I could I could go with the smaller VTX, but other than that, I have full confidence to be able to fly it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're not waiting for the HD Zero goggles. A don't pull an Orca on us, guys. Yeah, <laughs> don't be Orca. <laughs> nice. I can't wait to get some packs on this tonight. Yeah, uh, going through some areas around here, we've got uh, some pretty strong patch that we got to try and fly through. The antennas were giving a better response in recovery, so you didn't have a lot of lag of actually trying to figure out. Can you work through it like you can fly stat through static? Um, because it would just kind of come back so quickly. So it was so much easier to fly through, for sure. Hopefully they'll come back in stock. This is a game changer. This is a milestone. These antennas are really desperately needed because on HD Zero, when we're racing, we have to be at 25 milliwatts. So we do need really good antennas to give us the penetration to be able to comfortably fly with as little breakup as possible. And now we have it. Now I can get DVR like this. I think I'm gonna be taking this HD service system with me all the way to Costa Rica to one of the most important races I've ever been to. We're gonna be racing against Heads Up himself and Min Shin Kim and a lot of the other top pilots throughout the world. My only goal really is not to get last place on a track that is full of trees. I think I'm finally ready to fly in HD if I want to. <laughs> the racing community just didn't accept DJI like we had hoped that they would, but now, I can confidently say that HD Zero is gonna have an image that's really, really, really close. Latency that is even better. And now we have the reception that we need to be able to race as well. Thanks guys.
father. He get father and father. Every time he goes to Johnny Quan. He's gonna go straight into it. Next he's gonna be starting. Oh my god. Holy shit, that is crazy. <laughs> Johnny Five then took like three parking blocks on us. Oh man. I gotta get some DVR on. This is gonna be a good one. <laughs> I need to take I need yeah. to watch it take off. Woo. Well it's ready. Yeah. Ready. Ready. Derek. You're not up there. Oh, Alright. Send us Derek. Well, it's ready. Ready. Yeah. Have you come on? Yep. 